Okay, hey everyone. Um, I am 18 weeks and 5 days today, and I had an appointment with my uh, maternal fetal medicine doctor. Um, well, I was there for such a long time. My appointment was at 3.15 and we left at 6, if that tells you anything. So, um, anyhow, we had that, and the uh, they did the anatomy scan, and everything looked really good. The baby was measuring at 8 weeks, 5 days, all the way around. And, um... They kind of freaked me out a little bit because the sonographer, she, um... She was doing the ultrasound and she went to look at the heart. And, um... She stayed on it for a really long time. And then she asked me if I had the AFP test done. And I was like, well, that's a little strange to ask me that question. And um, that's after she had been on the heart for quite a while. And then she left the heart and went to another part of the body. And then she went back to the heart. And then she left the heart and came back to the heart. Went to another part of the body and went back to the heart. And I was like, thinking to myself, what in God's name is she looking at? You know, I was starting to get really nervous. And, and then she um, she was like, well, um, we're going to, after she got done, she said, everything looks good. She's like, but we're going to have the genetics counselor come in and talk to you. And I was just like, my heart just sunk. I was like, something is wrong with this baby. And because the last time a genetics counselor came in to talk to me, I was pregnant with Carly. And that's when they thought she had, is it called trisomy? Trisomy? Something like that. Anyway, they thought she had that or Down syndrome or some other sort of serious um, genetic defect. And... So I was, that's, you know, that was just where my mindset was. I was just like, oh, no. I was so scared. And I was just, uh, I think my mind was going into a thousand different directions while we waited. And um, we waited for a really long time. And then finally, the genetics lady came in. And she brought an intern with her. Um, so um, we set up an appointment. And the genetic, for the genetic um, counselor a genetic team or whatever you want to call it and um so i go back not this thursday but next thursday on the 11th and we're going to sit down and they're going to take hannah's autopsy report carly's information from when she was living and um my pregnancy information from carly pregnancy information from hannah um they're going to take my family history ryan's family history they're really just going to sit down and go over it, excuse me, and try to, um, come up with a cause, <laughs> if they can find one, um, hopefully they can, a cause for all of my problems that I have been going through, um, so they're going to sit down and see if they can figure out any correlation between the events of my last two pregnancies and why my pregnancies are just... They just have poor outcomes so far. And so, hopefully, that will um, give us some answers. I refused the AFP test um, back when I was 16 weeks because, and this may be a dumb reason, but I had the um, first trimester screening done, and then I had the, um, you know, the blood work, and then I had the ultrasound done, the ultra screen ultrasound where they check the nuchal translucency and um, that came back really good. So I had like a 1 in 10,000 chance of Down syndrome. So anyhow, um, after that, I, um, I just decided that it was just kind of not really worth the time and energy to put into it if, you know, I didn't think there was going to be any issues. and. So, I was there today having my ultrasound, and they said that, you know, the ultrasound looked great. Usually, the AFP test is to test for spina bifida. Well, the spine looks perfect. It looks really good. There's, there's no issues with the spine going on. And, um, so, but what they did tell me that I've never been told before is that sometimes the AFP test can um, show, like... Like, the test can be come back high, like the numbers come back high, but yet there be no issues with the spine or no other issues with birth defects. But yet, they say sometimes it gives you an inclination that stillbirth is going to happen or that there's going to be problems with the placenta 
or you know some other issue is going to come up a growth restriction and stuff like that and um, so they recommended that I go ahead and um, get it they said I have till week 20 to get it so I'm gonna get it when I'm exactly 20 weeks on the 11th and um, so basically if my numbers come back high they know that in the high-risk facility or in the uh, maternal fetal medicine doctor who is my um, is basically a, a peri but um, a perinatologist but um, basically they would monitor me even more closely if if those results came back being high so um, that being said, the doctor came in and, and he discussed the, um, the uh, ultrasound with me and basically he did say I had a soft marker for Down syndrome and that's why she kept looking at the heart. Um, I forget what he called it, but basically there was a white spot on the heart, on the baby's heart. And he says it's definitely not a heart defect, but it was just a soft marker. For Downs, but he said I had the Downs um, blood screening and I had the Downs um, uh, ultrasound screening, and he said between the two I have a one in ten thousand chance of having Down syndrome or the baby having Down syndrome. And he said so with those type of numbers, he says he's not even even worried about the spot that they seen on the baby's heart because he said that even healthy babies can have that sometimes and he said it's like an eight or nine percent chance that a healthy baby would show up with one of these little spots he says it's nothing to be worried about he doesn't even want to discuss it because he says it's nothing you know that we should even talk about everything else you know looked perfect so I'm not gonna worry myself about that um oh, sorry I'm out of breath so anyhow I go um like I said next Thursday for the genetics I'll have the blood drawn for the AFP test then it'll take about five days to get the results back um, on the 15th I go back to my regular doctor excuse me my, my regular OB and um, he will just you know take my weight and blood pressure and all that stuff measure my excuse me my fundal height and all that and then um at 24 weeks, I'll be going back to the maternal fetal medicine doctor um, for another ultrasound. And um, as of right now, they're not going to give me any steroid shots. Well, you can't have them until you're 24 weeks anyways. So, um, but it was something that came up in conversation today. And But right now, they're not going to do that. If I go at 24 weeks and the baby shows some sort of um, distress or the growth looks like it's starting to slow down and the baby's starting to get IUGR, like um, Carly or Hannah had, then he said that we would probably start steroids um, just for like insurance purpose, you know, just to kind of, I don't know, just just in case something happened and we didn't have time to, to do the shots. So, um, anyhow, um, I have complete placenta Privia, is that how you pronounce it? Privia? Priva? Something? So anyhow, I have that. Um, I knew I had that at 13 weeks, and um, it's still there. Um, so they did a transvaginal ultrasound just to check to make sure. And sure enough, you know, it's, it's, it's completely covered. There's no getting around it. Um, they don't foresee it moving whatsoever. They say once it's got to the point that it's at right now, um, they generally just don't move back up out of place. So he said, with that being said, for, he um, said no more sex. So um, that's the only restriction that I'm on right now. And um, that and he also said that um, at 33 weeks, they will start steroid shots for sure if we haven't started them before. Um, if, well, you know, if I'm not having any complications of any sort, at um, 33 weeks, they'll do steroids. And then at, um, hold on, here comes my husband. I'm coming. I'm coming to watch it. You want to say hey to everybody on YouTube? Hey, YouTube. <laughs> hey, everybody. I'll be back. <laughs> so, anyhow, he wants me to come watch Lost. It's coming on, so i got to hurry. Um, so, anyhow, and then at 35 weeks, they will do the... Uh, an amniocentesis to check the maturity of the baby's lungs and then at 36 weeks they would do an early delivery so that's the game plan if nothing 
comes up. And that was pretty much my appointment. So, I will come back and do another video quickly. Um, I've already done a video of the baby's room before and after. So I'll come back and do a quick video and add my symptoms to that and then I'll make this one video and then I'll make the other one another video. Um, and I'll put my belly shot on the next video with the, the nursery. Um, I might have time to show the clothes on that one. So I don't know. We'll see. So that was my doctor's appointment and I'll see you guys later. Bye.